piece of trash. He ain't no good for nothing. You never amount to nothing. Come on now. Come on. I've had to look me in the face and tell you that. Amen. You ain't nothing but a drunkard. You ain't never going to amount to nothing. Come on. You ain't going to ever have nothing. You ain't no good for nothing. I was unsaved. I was lost. But you know what? The Lord said, I'm worth dying for. Amen. Hallelujah. You're worth dying for today. Right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. What can separate us from the love of God? God. Hallelujah. There's nothing that will separate God's love from you. But what out there will cause you to separate your love for God? That's what you got to hold on to. Amen. Amen. Somebody come to the end. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. What? Will you allow to separate you from God? Job, prestige, I've seen men of God get out of the will of God because they want more things of God. That makes sense to you. I've seen men of God get out of the will of God wanting more things of God. I know a young preacher. Somebody can preach the house back. Anointing. Powerful. But he got caught up in a small church. He wanted a big church. He wanted a lot of people. I tried to tell you, brother, you just hold on. In time, when God gets you to that place, you'll keep it. He left the church, went and tried out some big churches, had some prospect for hopefuls. A couple of big churches was looking at him. Had 100, 125 people. He just knew that was God's will. He don't even go to church anymore. Because there was a man in the church that he was interviewing for. He had a couple of young boys church he was at overlooked him. They was just real emotions. The church he tried out for. They had some older folks there. They came to him and said, son, he said, you preach good. He said, but you can't control your children. If a man can't control his household, how can he control his house of God? Amen. He got hurt. Now he's not preaching no more. Last I heard, he, this man who goes to church every so often. He allowed not getting what he wanted in the house of God to sway his love for God. Just because you want the things of God doesn't mean you're in God's will going in the direction you think you need to go in. Amen. It's best just to wait on God. Amen. Wait on God. Because if not, the 
those things that we wanted or cause us to lose out with God. Our part. God still loves us. God still loves him. Still loves his name. But he's a from God. Amen. These always are going to be